Hey guys, it's your girl Taya back here with another video. Today is going to be the conditioner part of the series or part two. <laughs> if you guys haven't already checked out my last video, don't forget to do so. I talk a lot about shampooing and this is just a continuation of what we're going to be talking about in this series. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you check that video out first before you watch this one. And all right, guys, let's just go ahead and get started. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's just go ahead and jump right into <laughs> the video. So I do have, again, my little notepad. Um, so yeah, who, what, when, where, why, and how. <laughs> so for conditioner, who needs to be conditioning? Everyone needs to be conditioning. If you're shampooing your hair, then of course you need to go ahead and follow up with some sort of deep conditioner. You can use it before the shampoo process. If you would like to help, if you would like to use conditioner as like a pre-poo, you can use it that way to help you kind of detangle your hair before you go into shampooing. And then you can also use it as a step to put back the nutrients in your hair after you shampooed and you can use it to help you kind of detangle your hair before you go into your next step, which I hope is deep conditioning. <laughs> so you have your regular conditioner, which you can use as a co-wash. You can use it as regular conditioner. You have your deep conditioner, which is my personal favorite. <laughs> and then you have your leave-in conditioners. So today we're gonna pretty much be talking about the regular conditioner, what it's used for, all that good stuff. So I left off on what types there were. So let's go ahead and get into where you should uh, condition your hair. Again, preference, you can do it in the shower, you can do it at your sink, you can do it, um, you can do it in the bathtub, wherever you feel like conditioning your hair, girl, just make sure you do it. It doesn't matter where you do it. <laughs> Why we condition our hair is because you want to put back the nutrients that you lost from the shampoo and process. So, of course, conditioning is a huge step in your wash day. Like, you don't have... So, conditioning is an important step because it puts back the moisture in our hair. So, we want to add back the nutrients that we lost from the shampoo process. So, that is the reason why we condition our hair. How I personally like to condition my hair is... I'll start at the ends, I'll take the conditioner, I'll apply the conditioner to the ends of my hair, and I just like to kind of take my, any type of detangling brush, and I just work that conditioner in, and that usually helps me detangle my hair. So that's pretty much what conditioner is used for. It's used to put back the moisture in your hair, and it's also used, a lot of people use conditioners as detanglers. Like I said, I like to start from the ends of my hair and just kind of detangle my hair, working my way up. And I like to like, and I like to allow the water to kind of run on my hair. So I want to make sure that my hair is super like wet and drenched while I'm conditioning or while I am kind of finger detangling. That is really what I use conditioner for. Nothing really more than that. It's just conditioner. So I think I answered all the questions. Who should be conditioning? What types of conditioners there are? When you should condition your hair? Uh, why? Where you should condition your hair? At home. <laughs> Wherever you want to condition your hair. Um, and how to condition your hair. And then, of course, I will give you all some recommendations of some of my conditioners. Again, this is probably the least favorite step in the wash day, but it is necessary because you want to make sure you get those tangles out. And of course, you want to put back the nutrients in your hair. I'm sure you huns have seen a lot of naturals use co-washes. So this is the first conditioner I want to start off with. This is the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And basically what co-washing is, is using conditioner to wash or shampoo or cleanse your hair. It has great slip, so it allows you to detangle your hair with ease. And so that is really what I look for in a conditioner when I'm looking for a conditioner, is something that has great slip, something that allows me to detangle my hair easily and something that will put a little bit of hydration back into my hair. 
So this As I Am Coconut Co-Wash is great for that. It adds moisture, it helps with slip, and it just makes my life so much easier when I'm trying to detangle my hair. Sometimes I do use it in between like as a co-wash. Sometimes I have used it just as a co-wash if I want like a little cleansing. If I'm in between shampoos, you could definitely use it for that as well. The next conditioner I want to talk about is this olive oil. This is by Nubian Heritage and this is pretty new to me. Um, I just started using this, but I really do like it. This is their vegan conditioner and it's a hydrate and revive. You guys know I love anything that says hydrate, anything revive, like I want all of that. <laughs> so I like this. I think the slip is amazing on it. So I do like it for that. And this is something that I would also also use as a co-wash i like to co-wash with this as well use it for just detangling um if you haven't checked it out definitely check it out um yeah it's their olive oil brand i think they do have other um, types but this one is the olive oil one so i do like this conditioner the herbal essence this one has amazing slip. If you guys have never tried it, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure you may have, because this is a OG in the hair community, in the natural hair world, natural hair community. Definitely your herbal essence. Um, this has great, great slip. So I love it for that. Um, I used it for my trimming video. Again, it just helped me detangle my hair really, really fast so I can go through my hair. So I love this. You could definitely use this as a pre-poo. You could use this as a regular conditioner after you shampooed your hair. So I really do recommend this. This is one of the products that I first started out with when I first went natural. And of course, keep in mind, when you're first starting off going like when you're first starting out going back natural um you want to get products that are inexpensive unless you just got it like that and you want to spend and you want to go high end definitely do you hon do you boo <laughs> but if you are looking for more affordable options and you are just starting off i would say concentrate more on building your routine and just being consistent and you can use less or inexpensive affordable more affordable products um, while you're building your routine and just kind of learning what your hair likes. I wouldn't just jump off the deep end and buy really, really expensive products, like I said, unless you got it like that. But um, I would start off with affordable products like this and then I would work my way up once I figure out what my hair likes. Another um, conditioner that I wanted to recommend for you all was the Tresemme. They have great conditioners. They have like a color one for your lady, for my huns that are like color treated like me. <laughs> um, they have a great conditioner that has slip in it. And then of course the Aussie Moist, that's the OG. Everybody probably knows about that one. If you are a natural, I'm sure you have seen the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle. It has great slip tons and tons and tons of slip and one that I think I've talked to you guys about before is the Trader Joe's and that one is really inexpensive I think it's about $2.99 can't beat that tons of slip it's amazing and yeah so that is pretty much it you guys I think I answered all the questions for conditioner um, stay tuned for my, the next part of my series, which we're going to get into deep conditioner. You guys know that is my favorite part of this entire series. <laughs> um, well, in the wash part anyway. So yes, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you huns enjoy this video. I hope you learned something, something that you may not have already known. If there is a question that you have that I did not answer, please feel free to leave it in the uh, comment section and I will try my best to get back to you. So until the next one, you know what to do. Stay blessed. Oh, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up, okay? <laughs>